DC zero at WPU. You copy there, Root? WD zero AKX, or you're off. Hi, this is Root. This is KC zero WPU. Hi, Larry. I uh, just wondering if you're going to be around there. I'll swing by a couple minutes and see if we can get some video. Okay, sounds good. Um, might as well get that done today too. All right, talk to you later. It's KC zero WPU. Okay, catch you in a bit. WD zero AKX. Hi, WD0AKX, Larry, and now uh, we're going to do a little ham shack interview at uh, Ruth's place. I'll turn it over to her and let her introduce herself. Uh, hi, uh, this is Ruth, um, KC0WPU in Albert Lee, Minnesota. Um, How did you get started in the ham radio, Ruth? Uh, well, let me see. Um, my brother Dick in Austin is a ham. And um, and I really, what I really wanted to do is to be able to chat with him back and forth, um, you know, from Albert Lee to Austin, on the radio. And then, at the time that I uh, went to a um, ham class, I was working, and so they gave me one night off a week to go to Otana, and they had classes there. Um, I knew nothing much about ham, and so I had to go there to to see what was going on, how, what it's for, all about it, um, how to do this. And I, I went uh, six, seven weeks, I believe it was the eighth week, I took my test and passed it. And I was so happy. Uh, then I went out and got a radio. Um, uh, Larry Shantz helped me with that. You know, figuring out which radio I want. Um, I got a handheld. Um, I got my my little handheld. I love that. Um, I can carry that on my bicycle, um, carry it out in the backyard, whatever. Uh, then I ended up with a, um, a a radio in the car. I got an 8800 in there, and I really like that. That is programmed now with all the emergency uh, frequencies like the police have her up in the courthouse. Um, so in case of emergency, I can go out to the car and uh, make contact there. Well, it's good for public but service. Yes, very good. In case of emergency, we are ready. And so going back to, I, I passed my test. Uh, I belonged to REACT for 17 years. And, and so um, I thought it was finally time to retire and move on to something new. Um, I met uh, the guys at the uh, sheriff's fundraiser, uh, the guys in, in the Albert Lee Club and Ham Radio, and they invited me to join the amateur radio, so I did this. And one thing just led to another. I ended up, I'm um, president of the Albert Lee Club. Um, we really have fun in our club. We have picnics, uh, fox hunts. Uh, we go in with Austin. Um, that's a lot of fun to go with, with another club. And, and we'll do um, maybe a fox hunt or you know a picnic. Um, we also have our uh, yearly Christmas party, like a holiday party. Uh, so we have a good time. I'll put a link in the bottom of the video for our club website. Okay, yeah, yeah. Check out our ALHAMS, you know, dot org. Um, we have information there, some pictures. You can see what some of us look like. Uh, we sure welcome new hams. Um, you know, there's uh, emails there. There's a link to get a hold of us. Please contact us. We'd love to have a new ham for a member. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, and I also have um, a radio in the house. For a while, I just had my um, my portable in the house. It got so, you know, I couldn't really get out. Um, you know, sometimes you can't get out too far. Sometimes you can get out 100 miles. Um, but I really needed something I could count on. In the house, I have a, a 2700 uh, Yesu. Um, and so I do my Sunday night nets. Um, I listen to what's going on. Um, I can do simplex. Uh, so, but when the if the power goes out, like I say, I have my handheld, or I can go out to the car. 
um, you know. So I've got my antennas. It's a it's a dual band. I've got both antennas on my wall on a shelf. I tried to put them up and yet make them look nice. Um, and they're out of the way of the little great grandkids. So. Okay. Um, to no, keep. Do you have any other hobbies, Ruth? That's what I was going to ask you. <laughs> uh, any, yeah. Hey, I've got hobbies. You know, I've got a dog. I've got um, a parrot. I've got. I love to paint. I'm an artist. Um, I do watercolor, and I've started something new. It's a, a pencil. It's oil pencil. It's like a, a colored pencils, but it's an oil pencil. Um, this is really fun to work with. It's easier to move around. I use matte board. I don't do it on paper. Um, I love bowling. Um, bowling starts in two weeks, so that's really fun. Uh, I've done. I've bowled for years. We go to state tournaments. I go to nationals. Um, um, I've been to quite a few places. Um, I I have a bicycle recumbent, so I like to get out and get some exercise. I bet that's a fun bike. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know that's really neat. And I just saw them using on TV some uh, handicapped people are riding those. And they can fix the recumbent up with so that they can use their arms if they can't use their legs for the veterans or anyone else. Um, but I do love my art. And I do make jewelry. I, I've got my necklace on that oh, that yeah. uh, <laughs> has got Scruffy in the doghouse. But um, I, I make jewelry and sell it. Um, I have a few things at the art center for sale. Well, one of my watercolors, this is not my best watercolor, but it's one of my favorite. We had a terrible tornado come through Freeborn County, and I needed to paint that. I had it in my mind. I just needed to get it on paper. Um, and that was between Alden and Albert Lee as it was. It had come down the freeway, and then it was cutting over towards Austin, um, so, so this painting uh, means a lot to me. There, and some here too. well, yeah, I love my birch painting. Um, I love white birch trees, and that's one of my first paintings. Um, so I was real happy with that. It just you learn how to move water and paint on paper. And down below, and then there's I like the geese and. Down below, there's the um, buffalo, and I was just out to Custer to South Dakota on vacation in June, and I had to document the buffalo that I saw um, running free. Uh, besides florals and things, I really dabbled in this uh, stag is watercolor, and um, a professional artist really liked this one. And then one below, this is my oil pencil. Um, the eagles in Decora, I saw these on the cam on television all winter or all spring. This is the eagle and the babies, feeding the babies. Come here, Ellie Mae. Want to come out? Hi. Hello. Come here. Come here, Ellie Mae. Say hello. Hello. Say hi, Larry. <laughs> yeah, she likes you. <laughs> Hello. Say hi, Larry. Come on, talk for us. She, she does that when she likes things. She just shakes yeah, her head shakes yes. Yeah, shakes her head yeah. yes. Hi, Ellie Mae. Hello. Okay.